I think that both Cincinnati and Baltimore, they did a really good job. Uh, both teams. You you take a player that I would have liked to see the Steelers take. I like what the Steelers did better, actually, than, than Amarius Mims, but Cincinnati takes Mims at 18. That's a guy you'd think that they would have considered Pittsburgh would have at 20. Mm-hmm. And then the Ravens take Nate Wiggins, the corner out of Clemson, who's a really good player. I actually liked him. I don't know that I liked him more than the other corners, Doran. Don't make a face. My scouting. I like. I don't know that I liked him more than the other corners, but I like the value. Yeah. Like, you get him later than you would have to take the kid out of Toledo. And so I would rather draft a guy at 30 from Clemson at corner than a guy at 22 from Toledo at corner. Yeah. I mean, so if we ranked all three, what do you think is the best? Are they all even? I think Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, and Baltimore. I'll go for this year. I will go Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cincinnati, because I think Mims is going to take some time to Mm -hmm. warm warm to the task. I mean, he only started eight games at Georgia at tackle. I mean, my God, like he he's not going to come in and be anything close to a finished product. I was also a little bit surprised they didn't go with a wide receiver dorm, but I think that tells you everything you need to know about T Higgins. They're going to have him play out the year at very least. So that's how I would order it. What about you? Uh, I'm, I'm the same. I just think it's funny that I don't even think next year that the Cleveland Browns have a first round pick. This year they don't just because of Deshaun Watson, and they still don't still don't have answers for him. They built a good enough roster to get dragged to the postseason on the carcass of old Joe Flacco. That's a really good roster. It's a good head coach who won the coach of the year. But what they did to get Deshaun Watson is still one of the dumbest things ever. You know, people have said, look, they they still made the playoffs. It's not that dumb. It's not that dumb because he hasn't crushed their salary cap to the point where they haven't been able to put good players out there. Okay, well, he hasn't been good. He hasn't stayed healthy. And more to the point, they don't have first-round picks. Right. Hey, we would love to go around the AFC North today. And be able to say, oh, here's who Cleveland took. Nah, actually, we wouldn't like to do that. This is much better. They don't have a first-round pick. Stupid on their part. Mm -hmm. But if Cincinnati, let's say Cincinnati takes Brian Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU, the guy with 17 touchdowns, that would have made me go, hmm, what's going on there with T. Higgins? Mm -hmm. But they didn't. They went with the guy who's going to, in their minds, hopefully protect Joe Burrow for the next decade plus. I think both teams did well. Yeah. Like Nate Wiggins would have been a guy that I would have I would have liked for the Steelers, you know, in round two, even if they traded up into round two to get him. I really would have liked that. The Ravens do this every year. These teams, these organizations, they have such similar philosophies that almost every year the Ravens take a guy that you go, Oh yeah, I could have seen that guy be a Pittsburgh Steeler. Yep. It's why the rivalry is as good as it is.